The royal family will be celebrating Easter without Queen Elizabeth publicly this year. The 95-year-old monarch will not be joining the congregation in person for the annual Easter service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on Sunday. There will be other members of the royal family celebrating at the service on Sunday morning, and they may drop in to see the queen afterwards in private. Queen Elizabeth is a devout Christian and the head of the Church of England. She attends services regularly, and if she can't go in person, she worships online. In recent times, the monarch has skipped out on events, instead leaving in-person royal duties to her son, Prince Charles, and his wife, Camilla, and also to Prince William and Kate Middleton. Today, Prince Charles and his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, stood in for the Queen at the annual Royal Maundy Service, which is a pre-Easter tradition. Even with her absence and recent events, the head royal still seems busy as ever. Earlier this week, she virtually attended the opening of Royal London Hospital's Queen Elizabeth Unit, where the monarch appeared to be in great spirits while speaking with staff. One staff member spoke about his experience with COVID, to which the Queen, who recently also had the virus, shared a bit about her own experience. So my name's Asif. Me and my family, we contracted COVID towards the end of December. I saw the brilliant work, the nurses, the doctors, the whole team here, they were doing, they supported me and my family in a fantastic way. I'm better now. I'm getting there, I'm recovering, I'm much better. I mean, I've recently left the wheelchair, so I'm walking about now. I'm glad that you're getting better and you, and it, it does leave one very tired and exhausted, doesn't it, this horrible yeah. pan, pandemic. And in your time, it was the bad, bad version, wasn't it? Yes, it exactly. Is. And so you, you had to, you were not allowed to see him, but you could talk to him. It, it was difficult not seeing them, but obviously we were able to see them through video call. So we had, all our family, our friends, there was a good 50, 60 of us on what the video. What? Yeah, um, <laughs> there was a time actually we did um, like a prayer um, on Zoom and we had 500 people from all over the world um, literally just praying for him. Praying for him, oh, wonderful. Yeah. While Queen Elizabeth has scaled back some of her in-person royal duties lately, the monarch was able to step out to attend the service of Thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey honoring her late husband, Prince Philip, on March 29th. Also in attendance were Prince William and Kate Middleton, who were joined by their eldest children, 8-year-old Prince George and 6-year-old Princess Charlotte.